So, do you remember at one time when we went camping and got attacked by Bigfoot? Yeah, Bigfoot. No? Let me remind you. Ah uh, yes, that famous time when we went camping in the woods and, uh, according to you, we got attacked by Bigfoot. Well, I must admit, I was more concerned about keeping my tent erect. More of that later on in this video. First, let's get this base built. Glue, cardboard, stick it all in. Before we go any further, we need to get some trees, or in this case, roots. So in one of my walks in the creepy forest, I come across this downed tree. And the back of it has all the roots sticking out. And these make great trees, you'll see. Or here with a piece, Bigfoot. Nice metal miniature here. Give them a nice contrast wash of brown. We'll give it a dry brush, then an overall wash to tone the dry brushing down, and then we'll call that one done. Onto the roots and trees. Using Bigfoot as a reference for how big we need to make these, we can then cut as many trees as we need. In this case, about 10. Then onto the polyfiller. Once that's semi dry, we can then start adding these trees in, and all being well, they should stay upright. Once that's dry, we can take our tree that's going to be sat at the front, put a pin in the bottom of it, push it into this cardboard with a bit of super glue. Job done. Just got to fill in the rest of this base now with a bit more filler. I'd also like to point out that I'm very good at icing wedding cake, so if you're getting married soon and you need a cake, give me a call. On to the miniatures, or the heroes of a piece. This one will represent me, that's my thinking face. And this miniature will represent the main hero of a piece. I'm going to need to do something about that hockey stick, cut that off, make it into a pointy dagger or something. And there I am in all my glory. I'd like to point out, look at that crotch on this guy. Nice pair of blue jeans here. and a nice beige jumper that was knitted for me by my nan. Now while this is dry and rock solid, we can add the ground cover. Good dollop of PVA. And sprinkle it all on.
Once we've got a good cover and all that, we're going to dab it all down with a sponge. This keeps your fingers clean. Once it is dry, we can shake off all the excess. Using some of the leftover logs, we can place these on the floor. As always, stick them in place with a bit of super glue. Let's add a little bit of detail, so some skulls. You may recognize these from all my previous videos. Let's get these in place, glue them down. Once they're drying, we're going to give these trees a bit of a prune, cut off some of these lesser branches, ones that are just getting in the way. We'll put that aside to dry, have a quick drink of wine and get on and paint the last miniature, the heroine of this piece. keeping these colours nice and bright so she stands out when she's in the diorama. Now that's dry, we've given it a base coat of grey and then a dusting of white all over. We can get on now and start painting the ground. This is gonna be in the forest, so I'm gonna use a mixture of brown here, wet blend them in, We're not in a rush, so we're going to take this nice and steady, making sure we've got a good contrast of different colours. And then onto the trees, we're going to use darker browns here, a couple of variations, and again, we're going to wet blend these in. I did toy with the idea of adding some foliage onto these trees, but to be honest, once I painted them, I quite liked how they were looking like this. So I kept them like it. Just gonna add a bit more detail onto the ground now using a green wash, just to try and draw the eye around the piece a little bit more. Once all that's dry, we can work on the detail. We'll start with a light dry brush on the trees as well. Push that to one side. Now we need to build a tent. So let's get the trusty green stuff out. Get it a bit warm. Roll it into a solid green ball. Took about 10 minutes to be honest. Use an old paintbrush, roll this one out. Trying to get a rough rectangle shape here. Using me as a reference and a size guide, we're gonna cut out a better shaped rectangle, and then fold it in half to create a sort of tent shape. The idea here is that this is gonna be a tent that's been attacked by Bigfoot himself, and I'm wondering what the hell's going on? Once that's dry, we'll give it a base coat of khaki, and then a dry brush of white. It's an old canvas tent, it's meant to look old and ripped up. Using a bit of wire now to create the effect of the poles, glue them in place. A few final details using some old grass tufts I've got lying around, we'll stick them in place. And then using a bit of homemade flock, I'll do a video on that at some point. I'm going to dab some PVA here and there and then sprinkle it on. You probably want about a quarter of a base covered in this. 
Moss tends to grow around the bases of trees, I think. So we'll put plenty of it there, and in some cases, even up the tree. And on the logs. All we've got to do now is assemble the final pieces, put the tent in place and the miniatures and Bigfoot. Once that's done, we can have a look at the final reveal.